In last week's video, we ended with cutting off more of the side of the boat and now we're starting to rebuild it. Here we're just cutting our pieces that we traced. To make up one side, we're using two pieces and gluing them together with our putty. We used weights to make sure that our panel was as flat as possible. Once those two panels were glued together, we used the same kind of putty to glue it to the top deck. You have to work fast so that your putty doesn't harden before you can get the piece in the correct placement. We used a shim to hold our piece up until the putty dried to make sure our placing was correct. In some places we had to hold it in the correct position until the putty dried. After the pieces were glued in and the putty was dried, we went in with a skim coat to fill any voids or low points. After the skim coat dried, we sanded it down to get ready to fiberglass. Of course, we start our layup session with putting a thin layer of resin where we're going to be laying the fiberglass in order to create a better bond. For larger areas like these, we take a half roller and pour the resin into a paint tray so that it's easier to spread out the resin. Where all of these bond lines are, we're covering with one piece of fiberglass to tie it all together instead of using multiple pieces. After we did both sides, we took one strip of 1708 fiberglass over the bond line on the top of the canopy. Now this picture was taken before that layout session that we just did, but our next step was to build up the side of the boat to the top of where that white board is. We cut our pieces of core and glued them in from the back side first, like so. Then after a skim coat of putty on the outside, we went in with Cavasil to really make that bond stronger and fill any more lows that we may have missed. That cavasil is still wet when we started to put on these pieces of fiberglass and that creates a really strong bond. For the length of the boat, we did three different strips to tie in the sides to the original side of the hull. Never forget to roll your air bubbles out. As you can see, the core is screwed into that white board while we're taping this in. We had to make sure that we weren't putting fiberglass over any screws. We like to go in with a rag with acetone to wipe away any resin drips. This makes for cleaner work and less grinding. And here's the final product of the side profile of the boat.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our content.